A federal grand jury has indicted former Trump White House adviser Peter Navarro for contempt of Congress after he refused to cooperate in the House January 6 committee's investigation. Navarro was arrested by the FBI on Friday. He is currently in custody, according to Bill Miller, a spokesperson for the United States Attorney's Office in D.C. He is scheduled to appear in court. He faces two contempt cons, one for his failure to produce documents demanded by the committee and the second for failing to show up for subpoenaed testimony before House investigators. Prosecutors initially had asked for Navarro's indictment to be under seal Friday, citing the possibility that he could flee or tamper with witnesses or evidence according to court records. Public disclosure risks alerting the defendant of the indictment of the before the government's arrest operation is executed, the failing said. This would give the defendant the opportunity to flee tamper with witnesses or evidence or take other steps to interfere with the criminal case. The House had voted in April to refer Navarro to the Justice Department for not complying with the Select Committee's February subpoena. Navarro had claimed that he was unable to cooperate because former President Donald Trump had asserted executive privilege in the matter. The committee had countered those arguments by citing that many of the topics it wanted to discuss with him he had already written about in great detail in his book. Navarro is now the second former Trump advisor to be indicted for criminal contempt of Congress for denying a January 6 committee subpoena. The first referral from the House for former Trump advisor Steve Bannon was picked up by DOJ and has led to an indictment. He faces a criminal trial this summer. The Justice Department has yet to act on two other Trump allies referred by the House for prosecution. Former White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows and ex White House AD Dan Scavino. The Justice Department has come under pressure for, from House Democrats and others on the left for not acting aggressively enough in its January 6 investigation, particularly as it concerns the role Trump and his inner circle played in seeking to overturn the election and in making the mass voter fraud that propelled the violent assault on the Capitol. There have been recent indications, however, that the department has ramped up its investigation into a scheme to put forward fraudulent slays of Trump supporting electors in states that President Joe Biden won.